It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday evening. I'm James Spann. Kind of a cold, messy day today with some rain, sleet, and snow. No problems, no high impact issues as expected. But the good news, the sun comes back tomorrow. How about that? Let's go in there and take a look at things. First off, some sky cam shots. And what you see is pretty much what you get. That's the view coming from Cheha State Park. They are in the clouds. That's our Gadsden sky cam. Cloudy, cold, damp. Had some sleet, a few snowflakes around with the rain today. That's coming from Haleyville up in Winston County, where they are barely above freezing. It's been awfully cold up there this week. But the good news, we have a very well-defined wave coming through. That brought the nasty weather today, but as that passes east of the state, we'll see sinking air motion, subsiding air, and that should lead to a bright sunny day tomorrow and a warmer day, especially tomorrow afternoon. That was a radar at 243, still some lingering uh, patches of light rain over east Alabama. That'll be gone by the time you watch this, and the sky will be clearing tonight. We might see some fog after midnight, but other than that, no problems. And yeah, it's pretty cold. Uh, only 38 for Birmingham and Anniston. Tuscaloosa, 39. But tomorrow, get back to where we ought to be for this time of the year with low 50s likely. And by Saturday, we'll be flirting with 60 around the nation. Temperatures, generally speaking, not as cold. Much of this country starting to thaw out a little bit. Some spots over the high plains getting above freezing for the first time this year. And around the nation, it's very quiet. Uh, we've still got that winter weather advisory that was issued by the Weather Service in Huntsville for some of their counties, but that's about to expire. And again, uh, just no major issues from coast to coast, and that's good. Rain? Hey, not happening for the next five days. This is the rain valid through Tuesday evening of next week, and this is suggesting not a drop. Check modeling the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid tomorrow at noon. Uh, the wave is off the east coast, and down below that, a dry air mass in place. A bright, sunny day. We start the day in the 20s, but the high should be in the low 50s, exactly at seasonal averages for mid-January. Saturday looking good. Again, Saturday morning, we'll be down in the low 30s, but we warm up quickly in the high Saturday afternoon. I would say somewhere between 57 and 60. Some parts of West Alabama could see low 60s. That'll feel like a heat wave. But Sunday, a pretty strong upper trough is coming in here. Now, there's no moisture, so uh, we don't expect any rain with this feature. Just a few scattered clouds. And highs will drop back about maybe 7 or 8 degrees. Highs in the low and mid-50s with a north breeze on Sunday. Monday, we're dry. Lows in the 30s. High will be in the upper 50s. Same thing on Tuesday. Really, same thing on Wednesday. Uh, partly sunny. Moisture tries to come back, but the chance of rain so small, not worth mentioning. No forcing for rain there. This is a, a week from today, Thursday, the 22nd, troughing west of the state. Rain breaks out over Texas. And we'll see how that uh, plays out here. This is Thursday night at midnight, uh, 12 a.m. January 23rd. And again, the, the GFS is keeping the bulk of the precipitation over the southern two-thirds of the state. And it's got possibility of a narrow little strip of snow in the northern flank of all of that. But understand, this is, you know, a little more than seven days out. There's no skill in specifics. Uh, we'll just mention a chance of rain toward the end of next week, and we can adjust things as we get closer. And then this is midday on Friday the 23rd, and it's all gone. So uh, if this is right, kind of a quick-hitting system Thursday night of next week. And then the following day, this is Saturday the 24th of January. It looks cool and dry with highs in the 50s, if that's right. Look at temperatures coming off the ensembles, and again, you can see uh, highs in the 50s for the next several days and then maybe back in the 40s uh, toward the end of the month, but no really cold air in sight. Teleconnections, the Arctic Oscillation tries to spike negative uh, in about a week, and the same thing for the NAO, so we'll see if any monkey business happens with that Gulf Storm and that negative pattern there at the end of next week. Just something to watch in coming days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.